If you had not read the title of the video, you would have never guessed what we are going to make out of these Lego bricks. We made a very sharp knife out of them. A knife you can chop vegetables and cut other things with. First, we needed to pick the most grey bricks, resembling metal, which we will make a knife blade from. During this process, I remembered my childhood and I wanted to play a bit. Luke, I'm your father. Ah! Then we put the bricks into a bowl of water, where we also added a little detergent to wash the dirt off their surface, which would help us to prevent them from fusing together in the next step. We thoroughly cleaned each part with a brush, and after rinsing them in water, we put them onto a grid, which we put into our fruit dehydrator, where all the moisture evaporated from them in an hour. Then we tightly stacked the bricks and placed them in this tin from canned tomatoes. We had to cut some of them into small pieces, so they would fill in the voids. Then we put the can in the oven and turned the temperature to a maximum of 480 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, by using a thread saw, we cut out a small piece of plywood, which was needed in the next step. When heated a little, the bricks became soft, but they didn't melt and go down to the bottom. But after an hour, they did give in and become an indiscreet mass. In the next step, we get them out by cutting the tin. Yes, on one hand, it turned out pretty good. But these voids in the future knife blade would not work at all. We separated the second part from the tin, removed the protruding pieces of Lego, and set this block into the vise. Then, by using a hacksaw, we needed to cut two pieces of equal thickness from it. It was quite tricky, because the plastic is softer than metal, but it was very hard to slow the saw. We ended up with this hockey puck looking thing, with an interesting pattern along the cut line. We also needed to cut off piece of it on both sides, to fit the plastic block into the glass mould. We filled up the empty edges with whole pieces of Lego, and then we put the Lego saws on top of it. After that, we put a mould into the oven and really hoped that we would get a solid moulded plate with no bubbles or voids. After an hour, we took the lid off. Oh my goodness, what a stench! It stank up the whole house! Then we quickly put a board wrapped in parchment paper and put an anvil on top to press the plastic. Then we took it out of the oven and added another 20 pounds on top. Behind the scenes, I put my entire body weight on that to get the bubbles out. After it cooled down, we got something like this. Around the edges, the bricks were not much compressed, but close to the center, it seemed to be pretty good. Thanks to the parchment paper, the board came off without any problems, and we really saw a smooth, even surface. Awesome! This was a very important moment that defined whether we could make a Lego knife or not. On the other side, the plastic had a glossy mirror-like surface. Cookie, check this out! Then we attached our cardboard knife to the plastic and traced the contours of the knife's blade with a marker pen to transfer them onto our Lego block. After that, we fixed it in the vise and saw our knife along the contours with a small fret saw. In half an hour, we had such a piece, which already resembled a real knife, but there was still a lot of work to be done. It was necessary to smooth the ends with a rough wood file and to remove the roughness which remained after sawing. When my hands got tired, I used a small milling cutter with a drilling machine. But we miscalculated the thickness of the workpiece when pouring the plastic, and it turned out to be too thick, even compared to a relatively thick Coca-Cola bottle knife. This miscalculation cost us almost half a day of sanding this part. 
it was a very long and difficult process. Sometimes we tried it with a file, but then switched back to sandpaper. In the end, only by the evening we got to the right thickness of the workpiece and passed to shaping the edge of the knife with a fine file. After the crude treatment, we used sandpaper of different gradations. We moved from coarse grit to finer grit and gave our edge the final shape. And in the end it looked good. The plastic was workable and allowed us to get a very smooth even surface. The knife was expected to be really beautiful. Then we moved on to sharpening. For that we took a special stone for knife sharpening. It had to be wet so that its paws don't get clogged with the knife particles. And only after that we tried to sharpen the blade. We were sharpening it smoothly and carefully and at the time we tried to not spoil anything. Later we changed the stone to a finer gradation and did the same process. At the end we wrapped the blade with this masking tape in order not to damage it and not spoil it during the further work. Well, then we needed to make a handle and attach it to the blade somehow for that to be safe and look neat. To do that, we had to trim some of the bricks a bit and think about the ways they could be combined. We also had to glue them together so that the handle didn't fall apart when tested. To glue the blade to the handle, we used a super powerful two-part epoxy glue. We mixed it up and glued it sparkingly into the special place in the handle. We also worked the shank of the blade and put it gently inside. Then we added some more glue where it was necessary. The next day the glue cured, so we glued the second part of the handle. And then after curing, we were at the finish line and added different Lego decorations. After a few days of work, our knife was finally ready. It looks really awesome. We were so afraid something would go wrong and nothing would work, but here it is. The most beautiful and probably the only sharp Lego knife in the world. So let's put it to a test. As you can see, it chops a green zucchini just fine. How about a hairy kiwi like this? Easy! It can even chop this soft tomato! And now the hardest of tests. Will it be able to cut a long cucumber in one fell swoop? Such a difficult stroke requires a special approach and skill in the handling of the knife. There you go! I hope you liked the video and the result of our work, because we really tried for you. 